Alright, what's up YouTubers? Alright, this video ain't gonna be an unboxing video, a giveaway, anything like that. This is a serious matter of video that um, I kind of want to express my opinions on and stuff. Um, you know, a lot of people, they comment on my videos, you know, they might say something bad about me, call me fat or something like that. You know what? I don't care. Words don't bother me. I'm human, aren't I? Yeah, I am. And you see, that's something that really gets to me and bothers me. It's something that I've been through, like, my whole life in elementary school and middle school it's kids making fun of me because of the way I look but you know guys we're all humans you're walking down the street you see somebody that's black white Mexican mix it don't matter you can't sit there and judge them for their race their color or the way they speak or anything like that they're humans they were made the exact same way we were by God and that's all that matters I mean does it really matter if somebody I don't know, it's missing an arm, missing a leg. No, it don't. Are they still human? Yeah, they are. People that sit there and dodge and ditch and sit there and mistreat like dyslexic kids, I'm dyslexic. Or kids with autism or anything like that. That's messed up, guys. Why would you sit there and do something like that? They're humans. See, in high school, something I like to do, I would sit at the table with the autism kids because they're people. They need loving too and friends. And people come by me and make fun of me and stuff like that. And the only thing I can do is smile and say, you have a good day. Because it's not my fault that they don't want to sit there and have a kind heart. Sit with kids that want friends, want some attention. Because maybe sometimes people give them less attention than what they should really need. They're people just like everybody else. Relationships, let me get on that. It bothers me so much that a girl or a guy can be on Facebook and be like, Oh, I really want a girlfriend or oh, I really want a boyfriend. You know, I just want somebody that's nice and kind and stuff. Somebody say like me, because this has happened to me. Message a girl on there. Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's good. How about you? Start talking for a while. You go, hey, would you maybe like to uh, hang out and go on a date or something like that? Talk, get to know each other a little bit more. Oh, I'm sorry. You're just, you're too nice. When in reality, they end up getting a boyfriend a day later. With a nice body, six packs, muscles, and all that. Really? I mean, come on now. You sat there and said you just want somebody? You need to put your specifications on there. Oh, I'm looking for a guy or girl that has, that's skinny, has a six pack, has muscles. You know, that's very good looking. A perfect person. We don't live in a perfect world. Whenever people start realizing that, oh man, the world would be so much better. I mean, you can't sit there and say all that stuff and then turn around and tell somebody no because you're fat or you're ugly you know what thank you very much i appreciate the compliment thank you you can call me whatever you want it don't matter to me yeah i know i'm not the skinniest but am i happy very am i let's see here i'm satisfied with the way i look i mean yeah i am do i want to lose some weight yes is it kind of hard to do yes but am I trying? Yes. But I'm doing that for me though, not for anybody else. See, people don't understand. Some people let people get to them too much. That happened to me. I used to take what everybody said to me, I used to take it serious. Somebody called me fat, I could go cry, feel bad. You know, people brought me down so much. Then finally I just, it hit me. Oh my gosh, they don't have nothing better to do. Other than pick on other people. Oh, man. You're calling me names? You're the one I should feel sorry for. Because you have nothing better to do than make fun of other people. Oh, you have a six-pack? Oh, this dude's, you know, bigger? And you want to make fun of him because he don't have a six-pack? Congratulations, dude. You became a jerk. Yeah, you became somebody that people don't like. That Somebody that people should pray for. Because... You, my friend, are not a kind fella. You see, in high school, I was the type of person that got along with everybody. Not just one crowd, not just one group. That's ridiculous. Everybody should learn how to treat each and everybody in this world with respect. Treat others the way you want to be treated. I was taught that my whole life, and that's how I've stuck with. That is what I've stuck with my whole life. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know sometimes you may... Find people that want to try to start stuff. And you're sitting there thinking in your head so many things that you can say. 
don't though. Because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get to your mind to where you start stuff. They want you to be on their level. Somebody say something, don't say nothing at all. They keep it up, just say have a good day. Or if it gets to it, if you're on social network, block them. I mean, it's not that hard, guys, to do. But, you see, I've just, I've noticed so much hatred in this world and stuff like that towards other people and towards different races and stuff like that. And it's bad. Like some stuff that's been going on overseas in Paris and stuff with the terroristic threats. And, well, the terrorists actually attacking Paris. People start judging that specific race because of what a few of them do. That is wrong. Not everybody that is in that race or anything like that means that they're going to go kill somebody. That's messed up. That's judgmental. That's bad. You should not judge somebody on the way they look. Somebody could be fat, but... Like, fat in Chinese or something like that. You know, I'm just putting something out here, demonstrating. You may look at them and be like, Oh, man, they're not cool, they're mean, or something like that. They could be the nicest person you've ever met. I'll tell you a story one time. Back, uh, I don't know if they're still around, but like, gothic kids. Uh, like, this one person I knew, dressed in black every day. Had chains, tattoos, everything that you can imagine. People judged him by the way he looked. Oh, man, this dude has piercings everywhere. He's a bad kid or a troubled kid. No, you know what? I can't even find out that that kid is probably one of the nicest kids you'll ever meet. He just grew up in a hard time. People don't also realize that. Some people need help. You're sitting there picking on somebody? No. Go over there and be their friend. Maybe that's all they need in their life. Maybe that's why they act different. It's to fit into other crowds so they can actually feel like that they're fitting in. See... Some people pick on kids, and they don't realize whenever they go home, they get tormented too by their parents, by their siblings. They don't need it at school too. People need friends. People need family. People need each other. No, I mean, you can't just sit there and not be friends with somebody by the way they look. You can't sit there and be friends with somebody because you think that, well, you know, their race is bad or anything like that. No, that's racist. You can't be like, oh, she's a girl. She don't need friends, guy friends or anything like that. No, that's sexist. If you sit there and judge girls and if you're a guy. No, don't do that. Treat everybody equally. There's not no reason why somebody shouldn't be treated equally. I'll tell you another story. I used to have a bully in middle school, you see. And, I mean, he would literally torment me all the time. From elementary school to middle school, actually. But you see, guess what? He would call me names. I would call him names, too. Exactly. He would call me fat. I would be like, oh, thank you very much, skinny. Nothing bad. He called me ugly. You know, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate your honest opinion on what you think about me. Uh, I mean... I let them get to you. But in, honestly, in middle school, I did actually let it get to me up here. Yeah, it made me feel kind of bad and stuff like that. But as time went on, you know, by eighth grade, that same kid picked on me. Guess what? I said the same stuff. He finally quit. It's kind of like he got bored. You know, oh, man, this kid don't take insults anymore. He ain't off let's move on to somebody else. He did. That kid he was moving on to, I became his friend. Because you see, I was in the same boat as he was. Maybe everybody can relate somehow to each other. People don't realize that. What you don't realize is everybody in this whole world has at least one thing in common. Do you know what that thing is? Everybody in this world has a heart. Whether if you know how to use it the right way or the wrong way, that is your choice. But also, another thing about relationships, like boyfriend, girlfriend types of things, just because you don't have a boyfriend, just because you don't have a girlfriend, don't mean your life is over. Don't mean you should give up or anything like that. No, and don't. 
Maybe it's time for you to get closer to God. Or if you don't believe in God, you know, find yourself. Be like, you know, I really don't need a boyfriend right now or a girlfriend. But, huh, there's so much I can do. Get closer to your family. You know, something like that. Easy, simple things can obviously become something bigger than what you think. You may think to yourself, oh, I hate my family. I don't want to be close to them. You ever think, you know, your mom and dad or the people that had you? You know, maybe it hurts them that you don't want to be close to them. You don't like them. You know, stuff like that. Maybe it makes them feel bad that, that their child don't like them. I know I would feel bad if that was me. I know sometimes maybe your parents treat you bad and you're like, why should I treat them nice? Maybe they do it because they don't really know who you are. If you don't spend enough time with them and they can't, and they can't figure out who you are, sometimes parents do that so you talk to them, get closer to them. There's so many things out there in this world. But back to relationships though, don't judge people the way they look. If you want a boyfriend or a girlfriend, it doesn't really matter what they look. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's alright to be, be with somebody you're obviously attracted to. But, I mean, sitting there judging somebody because they're bigger. No, they don't have a six-pack. They're not skinny. They're not muscular. So that means that they're not my type. You ever think that those people that you want could treat you bad? Treat you with disrespect? Did you ever think that? Maybe the people that you don't like, that are a little bit bigger, not as skinny and stuff, maybe they need loving too. They could be the nicest people you've ever met. Such kind heart. If that's not what you want in a relationship, then I feel bad for the way that your relationship's gonna go. See, to me, I don't judge by looks. I don't judge by character or race. If you're gonna treat me the way I treat you and with respect and loyalty, Somebody I can trust. You're a winner to me. I don't care what you look like. I really don't. Because see, all that matters is as long as the two people have a heart-to-heart -heart connection and they both treat each other with respect and loyalty to where they can trust each other, then that's a relationship to me. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to make this video get some stuff off my chest. Because I see so much of this nowadays on social networks and websites and all sorts of things. It's bad, but I think, honestly, if we all come together, we can make this world a better place. Now, people may be commenting on this video talking trash about me. I'll go ahead and tell you people that want to talk, talk trash, feel free to. I love every one of y'all. Thanks for watching.